it turns out that if your first video doesn't have audio, then FFmpeg does not include audio. So, uh, on with the program. Progress. The brakes are all put together so they do their thing. It does not significantly interfere with the fenders, given that the brakes are going to be riding like that anyway. Uh, fender is installed. Unfortunately, that's as far down as the front will go, but I was able to tighten it up at the back, which is the important part, because if something gets sucked up back here, it'll get kicked out instead of binding up. Um, had to use two spacers to get sufficient clearance here around this fork, but that's fine. That's what they're there for. And uh, it made my bolts the correct length, so they're not going to interfere with anything. Um, and everything's looking pretty peachy up here. Uh, I put the chain together and tightened it up. Um, I had to tinker with 
the uh, with uh, some stuff over here because the shift was kind of tight, which I think had I don't know if that actually has to do with the with the preload on that bearing, but I changed it anyhow. Uh, tighten this thing up. I just used an old bit of uh, of uh, rim tape to protect the paint there. Um, and I started to fit this, and there are there are uh, holes pre-drilled for fenders, including one that you can barely see right here. That would be for putting a hole in the fender and just running a, a bolt right through it. Um, unfortunately, these various metric fasteners are slightly too large and um, probably show you what actually fits is that so I gotta run to the store and buy myself a mess of these preferably with well I guess I don't care what they what kind of head they have on them and uh, then those will slot through there and I'll be able to mount up this fender uh, followed by this rack which I can drop right down on this frame like if I put it back here, I could I could put it super low. I think I want it the extra inch forward and maybe a little bit up just for um, center of not center of gravity uh, weight balance. Not that it really matters, but you know. So I'm gonna take a break it is kind of hot out here and I'm gonna wait till my man gets home and then we're gonna go go get screwed and then I'll put the back fender on and put the seat post on um, and I think probably I was I was trying to finish the mechanical part of the bike but one thing I am inevitably going to run into is that these uh, these brakes each of them has a, a uh, sense wire or you know whatever you want to call it um, and they join up at the very end of the cable and that is not appropriate so uh, I'm gonna have to take this inside make the make the Y connection way up here um, so that it's just a single pair of or a single cable instead of two cables running to the back um, and I gotta figure out how to mount up this harness pipe it's gonna go there uh, yeah but I gotta figure out I want to run it or how I want to mount it. One possibility is that I could take a super cut down cable and just run it in here and make a loop around to fasten it, which doesn't seem like a terrible plan. Or I could do some elaborate like string and around and back and all, uh, all higgledy piggledy. But that's going to be a little later. Uh, right now it's screws and fenders. Um, and a little bit more soldering. Well, I went out and saved some big money with some M4 hex cap screws and stuff. Uh, then I got back out here, and or got back here rather and sat down had some time in the air conditioning and then there's like some real uh tr 
Tree of Liberty being on the other tyrant shit going on. Uh, that's... That's the thing. No further comment. Um... Anyway, so that was a little distracting. But I think... Well... We'll just have to see. Uh, this M4 stuff should be fine. I'm going to set you down for a second. Then drop more stuff on the floor. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, M4. We're going to just try and fit that through here and through there I think that'll be okay yeah I'll just put a bigger washer on the inside there so it doesn't pull out not that it's under any stress but that'll be okay and then we can use a full-size bolt for up here and then I bought enough enough M4s to go around so we'll be able to hook up both the fender and the um, the rack. So as I continue to rough this up, um, I was going to use those M4s for this rack, which would have been fine. This rack is rated for 27 kilos, so like 55 pounds, give or take, which is, um, <laughs> that's generous rating. Um, but even if it wasn't, uh, I wouldn't mind having that much weight on this small of a screw um, except that for clearance purposes because you can see we're already touching uh, for clearance purposes I have to have a spacer in here and so that's going to put a big side load on this thing and I don't I don't want to I don't want the combination of a small screw and a big side load um, this is also well it should be like that and that's like more clearance than it needs to be by like uh, a bunch so what I'm gonna do even though I didn't wanna there's enough meat on this bracket that I can drill out to, uh, to take these larger screws, you know, so an actual M5 size screw, which is even that smaller than what this comes with. I don't know what these screws are. Are these sixes? Um, but anyway, 
I'm going to drill it out to take these these larger screws. We'll just pack some grease in there so it has less opportunity to rust. Plus it'll be clamped down either side so it shouldn't be getting water in there. Um, and it's a big thick piece of metal. One of the only ones on this bike. Um, and then I'm going to switch, I'm going to flip this bracket thing around so that all of the holes are between here and here and that should give me a little bit more freedom to move this thing up and down. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put another spacer in there or if I'm going to... what I'm going to do. I'm going to try my luck. But I'd like to knock another inch off of that clearance. Have it, you know, right down um, to make this... to make it as visually compact as possible. So... Uh, onward, I guess. Look at that. We're down to reasonable amounts of clearance over the fender. Which is going to sit like that. Yeah, pretty much like that. We're probably going to have to do a, a little song and dance to get around this corner, but that's okay. Um, and as far as clearance here, we got some. We might even have enough. Uh, this nut is touching, um, which is kind of gay. Um, but I think once this tightens down, this this will actually pull in, like, into this little slot a little bit. So that that'll probably clear once I tighten that down. That's what I will try right now. And we got basically enough thread. It would be nice to have more thread to put like a washer on the inside there, but we can skip the washer on the inside and just just screw it down from the outside. That is also fine. Man, I thought about buying an air conditioner yesterday when I went and got those screws, but I didn't do it. Now I'm kind of wishing I had. It is absolutely miserable out here. But I have the rear fender all neat and tidy. Put on the, the back uh, hole there. Um, I ended up drilling these two out as well. Just so I could use, the, use similar hardware for everything. Kind of make maintenance a little bit less obnoxious. Um, and then uh, I got this one roughed in with a couple of these spacers that came with the fender. Um, and that's looking pretty good as far as clearance goes. I do have to find another bolt that's this long. I, I'm pretty sure I got one around here somewhere. Uh, so I can do up the other side. And then I can figure out how I'm going to get from from here to here using nothing but these sticks. So it's going to be like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. And it's, it's harder to eyeball it because this thing flops back and forth. So uh, if it's back a ways, there may actually be enough room to uh, mount that up. 
but we'll figure it out. For right now, I gotta find this other bolt if I have one. So I've got the brake all uh, run into one cable. Um, so what I got to do now is tie off these two wires up at the top of the stem right here. They'll get tied right here and then they're going to come around the right side and join up with our with our uh, cable run that pipe that I've got so I gotta tie this up I gotta pull the wires so that it won't bind when it's at full lock um, but not have like a million tons of slack and then I can wrap this in cloth um, I've also got to set the some o-rings on that pipe so that I have a way to fasten it to this top tube so I'm going to set the set the spacing on those o-rings. I'm going to run these wires. I'm also going to run the headlight wire and the motor wire on the other side so it'll come around this side and join up with that. And then I'll be able to see how much cable I've got left at the far end so I can figure out where to chop it so that I can finish up the harness back here.
and that is how you harness so we got our two brake wires coming off here and uh, our control wire coming off the display that goes into heat shrink here that goes into cloth tape here goes into a beefy heat shrink right here a little too beefy for my taste but that's what I had and you've got the motor wire coming up here the headlight wire coming up here all joins and goes straight through this that's that's what a lot of the fuss was was making sure it was straight all the way from one to the end instead of being all tangled up uh, heat shrink back here and cloth tape back here to more heat shrink so this this guy is going to curl around, this is going to sit about here, and that's going to snake around and go right into the center of this. Um, so all I have to do now is uh, go through these, and I'm going to solder, uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to solder... Um, the motor, the uh, brake, and the control head straight to the controller. Um, that way there's no connectors back here except for the Wagos for the power. Um, and that will, that will be good. That will reduce um, the number of connections that could fail on this in the future. Uh, most of this stuff is probably going to be pretty reliable, and if it's not, um, we can just uh, splice, you know, if, a, if the control, or if the display dies, we can splice it in right here. If the uh, headlight dies, we can splice it in here, and so forth. Um, and of, co of course the motor's got its own connector anyway. So I'm going to unwire this, so I'm going to pull this... Uh, handlebar back off um, and solder up the uh, all this shit
So this is everything all connected up. The only thing that's staying on a connector is the pedal sensor because that lives a harder life down in the muck and the mire. Um, but all of this is soldered and heat shrinked. These are going to get trimmed back to go into the Wagos. And then I stuck a heat sink on this power supply just for uh, belt and suspenders. And I'm going to put a piece of uh, plastic on top of this and strap it right to the, the top of this controller. So, uh, yeah, getting there. Back outside, this is the complete wire harness. <clears throat> so, we've got the display, both brakes coming together into this cloth wrap, which goes back into here. We've got the headlight sticking out one end, the motor wire coming out that end. And then we go through this pipe to another cloth wrap that carries everything um, and then I taped back all the loose wire here to keep it f to keep any of this from getting kinked because um, it's gonna fold up and I don't mind if it bends but I don't want it to break um, this is our pedal sensor that goes into this jack right here um, the return to the tail light goes through these two wagos with a couple of extra spots in case um, of emergencies, I guess. And then this is our main 36 volt input, which goes in the center terminal of, of these two. So uh, this is half mounted um, and I'm going to see if any of this needs to be trimmed. It kind of does take a couple inches off these um, and then we'll stuff the controller and everything into there um, possibly with a little bit of foam on the underside so it doesn't bang around quite so much um, and then we'll just work our way forward again my goal is to get the get the electronics mounted and then get the uh, get this fully secured. It's bolted on down there, but I got to get the brackets up to the seat post. Um, and from there, it's just going to be brake cable, brake cable, shift cable, pedals, and a seat. Um, and it'll be ready to ride. I don't know if it's done, but it'll be. Uh, substantially complete. I don't have a light out here but you can see just how tight it is in there. That's jammed as far back as it's gonna go and as much stuff stuffed in there as possibly can be and that's just, that's all the shit all the space there is. So this is gonna be a little bit longer than I'd like it to be but it'll be okay because we're still we're still going to be past we're, we're going to be into the heat shrink up here so it's still going to look decent there just might be a little bit more of a downward loop than i'd prefer
So we're inching along. Uh, I am going to have to move this this rack up just one notch, which is like a half inch, I guess. It kind of sucks because I really like how little clearance there is there, but unfortunately that uh, runs us out of angle for this brace uh, without like bending this and being real creative, which I guess I could be. Should I just be creative? Should I just like bend it right here? Hmm. Well shit, I may have just talked myself into something. Okay, well anyway. Um maybe I'll do that. Okay, never mind, bye. Yeah, I'm liking that. So I just use this extra bit of copper as a cheater and the vise and just gave it a little a little curve to the right and that's going to give me tons of clearance. Okay friends, it works and what that means is that I finally went inside and got the battery. So we're going to find out if anything blows up right now. Oops. Okay. Did I not? Well, I did slot it in, right? The hell? What stupidity have I wrought? Why do you not plug in? Is it too high? Too low? Too side? To side. Oh, I know what I did. I was I was worried that I was going to get too punchy, and so I actually locked locked that thing. Is this the right key? I locked it so I wouldn't do nothing stupid, and here I am being stupid. Okay. Freaking myself out. So what I'd like to see is a headlight and a taillight. What I would not like to hear is a big pop. Well, that's a good start. thing is like so much headlight. Okay. We got our thing, so uh, we got our brake. Do we have any juice? We have juice. Well, that's great. I haven't actually configured this for this motor or anything, so that's just like best guess from the controller. But um, yeah, I'm feeling real good about that. Real good indeed. 
so tomorrow I'm gonna finish hooking this this uh, rack up tighten it down the rest of the way get it level I'm going to tighten up all of the all of the wiring and I'm gonna adjust these brakes because they're a little too far back for my taste um, I'm gonna put the seat post on put the brake cable on put the shift cable on and I think I think we might be done. I think. Might be done. Good night.